There are two ways in which to create a Captivate file using the existing PowerPoint slide. The first way is to create a new document from a PowerPoint presentation, and the second way is to import PowerPoint slides into an existing Captivate project. Let's start with creating a new Captivate file from an existing PowerPoint presentation. So we, we either start from the Start menu, and as I have something open already, we'll start with the File menu instead. And from the New Project pop-down menu, we will select Project from MS PowerPoint. Navigate yourselves to the, the location of your PowerPoint presentation and select it. Captivate will go through the process of converting each slide into a Captivate slide and depending on the duration of your existing presentation, it could take a few seconds. In the Convert PowerPoint Presentations dialog box, you need to do the following. Enter the name of the project if it should change. Select a size for the new Adobe Captivate project. The size displayed is the actual size of the slide in PowerPoint and it's best practice not to change the size. Select the PowerPoint slides to convert to the Adobe Captivate project slide. You may not want all of them. And set your navigation preferences for the selected slides, either to progress automatically as the project launches or to allow the user to navigate through the content on mouse click. If you want to link the PowerPoint presentation, select Linked. If you want to embed the PowerPoint presentation, deselect Linked. And then click on OK. Once again, a few moments are required to import the slides. And as you can see, a new project opens up on top of my existing project. And that project consists of an entire Microsoft presentation.